<laughs> okay. Hi, Adam. Okay, I guess we're ready to get started. Uh, anyone? People are going to have some catching up to do in a second. <laughs> I think a lot happens very quickly here, if I recall correctly. I haven't played this since 2015, but let's see here. Can I go through the door back here? Hi, G. Swanson. No, I can't go through that door. Not the greatest crouching animation there, but what are you going to do?
I think a lot of this game was designed to appeal to people who liked uh, the original flashback, Quest for Identity, games like that. I think this game was mostly produced by a team of Czech developers. I can't level up hacking yet. Um, start with charisma, I guess. So we're looking for a place called Fixer's Hope. That's never a good sign. Well, looky at you. What do we have here? Some little bird falling down from her nest. There be things prowling down below, girl. Should have stayed up top, up there with them respectables. Do I look like a tour guide to you? Brethren, do you see me waving a yellow flag talking history? You won't see this territory, girl. There ain't no going through a how did I get there? Not unless I say. Now, what you really here for, huh? You one of them clean up the street type of police? One of them dig the dirt news people sniffing around looking up for your big break? I don't think we can be taking no chances, brother. Now, let's see what's in your pockets, girl. You ain't got no invite. Maybe you got something for my hospitality. Or maybe you can stick around. You got a boyfriend? Someone who'll pay a pretty price to see your pretty face again. Okay, I'm just gonna go with, uh, please let me go, I don't want any trouble. It's a little bit late for that, honey. We get to decide what to do with your pretty ass, and we ain't done deliberating. Uh, listen to me, you don't want to do this. I don't. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear this, brother? And why exactly do I not be knowing my own mind, girl? Look, I'm on the run from cyber soldiers packing heavy firepower. It won't be long before they find me, and if you're around when they do... So that's what all that ruckus was about up top, huh? And all them lights in the sky? You've been messing with the wrong respectables, girl. All right, we're done here. Get! 
All right, that saves us a fight. Goody, porno. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. stop that. Uh. I do not remember how to play this game, but we're, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright. Nobody here. Nope, nobody here. Nobody here. <laughs> yeah, it has RPG mechanics, so we'll get stronger as we go on. You try on the truck. Like I said, it does, yeah, it does remind me a lot of Flashback. Let's see here. Okay, I need to increase my lock picking to get through there. I think I can go that way. Huh. Yeah, I've robbed this place dry. Okay. Oh, he has money. That's good. I just remember from the last time I played this, there being a lot of trying to figure out where to go, but... Um, it's sort of a fun little story. Alright, that didn't go that badly.
I see you. I see you. Ooh, edgy, aren't ya? What do you like out there when here has you shaking, eh? Too clean. No, too clean. Smell will bother her. Not seen you before. You with the cedars? Lorraine? But maybe, maybe. She just let you walk, did she? Must have liked you, she must. So, where are you going, anyway? Fixer's Hope? Hmm. Heard of that place? Yeah. Full of big shot hackers gonna change the world. Ha! Did I tell it right? Did I? Let him die. Let him try, I said. Let him try. I'll be here. Me and me cans. Ace and Jerry will be right here. And if dying's your thing, I mean going. Stupid, stupid. Okay, okay, okay. I can show you a way out of here. There's a tunnel ahead of you. We'll take you straight out of the sewers. Problem is, I know, I know, I know. I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. The gate is locked. Locked it is. Yes, Lady Lou. Or the ladder over there will send you down to those there sewers. Take longer, it will. And it's dangerous. I know what I'm doing. Just listen, will you? Just listen. Used to be some chemical factory down there. Now it's all gas leaks and piss. Stain more than just your shoes, it will. Uh, how toxic are those gas leaks? Could I make it through? One or two breaths of this stuff won't kill you. Three might. But keep away from the pipes and hurry along. You'll be fine. No, why not? Need to be quick and skippy. Not the easiest, no. But stay out of that factory. Leaks are much worse there. Ouch! Drip. Ouch! Trip. Was sealed off after an accident some years ago, it was. Nobody since bothered cleaning it up. Stick to the tunnels and you might keep your lungs in your chest. I know. I saw them too. Nice they are. Uh, so you live here? Why? Why? Do you hear that? Why, she says. Here they can't watch me. Can't be tracking or controlling. Here I got my can. Don't worry about me. Got food to last me years. And my friends. Far from trouble, far from strife. Lots of grub. And good company. Uh -huh. Is there no way I can unlock that gate? Without the lock is hard to pick. Mm -hmm. Right, mistake, mistake. But you don't uh, strike me as the burglar type. I have the key. The key. Yes. Why don't you just say so? Can I have it, please? You could. You could. But you know what they say. Why scratch their scrotum when they don't like the smell of yours? <laughs> you like that, don't you, huh? You always like that. There's a gang. Calls themselves the Cedars. Thieves and skullcrackers, the lot of them. Started using my tunnels for their smuggling, they did. Lorraine's in on it. Don't know what, why, or wherefore, but it'll attract sniffer rounders for sure. Not what we want, is it? No. But you, my friend. Hear that? I called a friend. You could stop them. Stop them bringing through their busyness. There's a bridge. Blow it up. What do you say? Blow up the bridge, and I'll give you the key. Uh, let's see here. Should I just use try my charisma stat? Uh, should I try sneaking through the toxic gas, or should I agree to blow up the bridge? Or I could beat him up, I guess. Okay. 
Me and Jerry have prices. How else we get all these cans, huh? Look, I got some cyber army on my tail. You ha want me hanging here? Fine. I doubt they give one damn about collateral damage. What? Who? Y you know what? Take the key and get the hell out of here. Go on. Might have to see if I can set up my controller. All right. Now, where's the door he was talking about? Must be down here. There we go. Oh, don't want to go that way. Two required. There's the bar. Nothing but net runners and cyberpunks. Oh, no help here. Go, stay, think. That must be Decker. You're Decker, right? I'm... Ah, uh, you're late, I know. And you're just as sorry as last time. Now, you better start acting natural, because that guy behind you, I had never seen him before, and I sure don't trust how he's looking at you. He's looking now? I, I can take him. You can do what I say. Now, I don't know how you fried that CPD, Mary Jane, but it's toast. Come on back, we'll pick you out another. Come. Sure. Thanks. Out here. So, you're Dex. I have no idea why Raycast wants you safe, but now you're my bag. And trust me, if anyone else had sent you here, you'd have hit a locked door and a no way kid I'm not interested. So don't go telling your classmates you found out where Grandpa Help All lives. You lucked out on your guardian angel. Raycast called me. I'm your help, and right now, that means I'm your out. Uh, who's after me? I was nearly killed back there. If Raycast is involved and wants my help, you can bet your bottom credit you got the complex on your back. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Okay. The complex is an off-the-books organization. The click of all clicks. Pick a Megacorp, Samio, Armagear, Trust DNG. All have a tie to the complex. Boards of directors, subsidiaries, shareholders, you name it. You won't find a politician so much as cross the street without the complex giving a walk sign. But who are they? No one knows. And that's where the hackers come in. Digging for faces, looking to expose. But the complex is protected with a capital pro. Pissed off the wrong guys, kid. Uh, you act like Raycast is a big deal. Who is he? You don't know who Raycast is? Listen. Raycast was behind some of the biggest leaks and scandals of the past 15 years. Not a corner of the grid has kept him out. If any one person is the hacker movement, it's him. Some say they've met him, but they're trolls with tails, every last one of them. 
No one has. Raycast meets you, and most times, you don't even know about it. Uh, why would you agree to help me? Do you owe this Raycast? I don't owe him. I don't even know him. At least not personally. No one does. Every underground ticket from here to escrow Jack knows what he can do. When a Raycast reaches out to you, there's something big going on. You can bet on it. And let's just say I have my own reasons, too. There's got to be some mistake. I'm nobody. Why are they after me? Crooked. Ruthless. Yeah. Mistakes. Not their game. If you're targeted, you ain't nobody. Wait. Hear that? Nothing. That's my point. Bar's dead silent. You gotta run. Go through that back door. Head towards Taijo, China District. Find Tony. He's a friend. He's got a hideout. You should be safe there. Uh, okay, thanks, but what about Don't you? Don't worry about me. I'll hold them off. Find Tony. The building with the Chinese fortune cat. Now go. I'm guessing I'm probably missing a lot of opportunities to get XP, but... Ah, eh, what the heck. Let's just move on with the main plot. Like I said, I haven't played this game in about five years. Level up. Okay, let's see here. Uh, two points to get charisma next level. Uh, let's go with uh, lock picking. Hi, glorious Royal. Yeah, it's it's Dex. It should read as Dex. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of obscure from what I've read. I I picked it up about five years ago. Kind of enjoyed it, so I thought I'd give it another shot since they uh, said they released some improvements since then. Oh, that was painful. All right, let's try to avoid men with machine guns. Okay, that didn't go well. When was the last time I saved? Oh, way back here. Okay. Well, time to skip through some dialogue. Okay. I wonder if there was a gun at some point I could have gotten. data chips. Plenty of stuff I'm betting I can sell later, but I need to find somebody who can buy from me. Pass that with a higher lockpick skill. All right. Nothing but net runners. Up. All right. So you're Dex, and trust me, if anyone else, you some say they break. Okay, you won't find a. P and that's where the hackers come in, digging for faces. Have I had a pet hamster before? Explodes. No, I have not actually. The complex is protected with a capital pro. Uh, my class had one Pissed when I was the wrong guys, sixth but... grade. Died. I don't owe him, and. Um, but I've never had a hamster. My own reasons to crooked. Wait, hear that? Nothing. Go through that back door. Head towards. Don't worry about. I'll hold them off. Okay, let's try that again. No, well, it's not gonna let me save here. Okay. I have not had a pet hamster. No. Uh, we had one in sixth grade class. I think. Uh. The mom ate a couple of babies, if I remember correctly.
Oh! Bit you, okay. Well, I know what that's like, yeah. I had, uh, I mean, my rabbit used to slash me up all the time. Yeah, a gun would help here. Uh. A gerbil. I just thought gerbils were pretty chill. Okay. Chain, pick up the cola. There we go. to sleep. How do I go into AR mode again? Is there anything I can hack around here? No. Okay. Ow. Well, at least I survived. I can't take that guy down, he's too big. Okay, gonna have to drink a lot of beers here. Gotta be it. You playing Fallout 4 tonight, Glorious? People don't come here. You, Tony? Decker said you had a place to hide out. I'm here to hide out. Decker? Look, if you're in trouble, I don't want any part of it, okay? I'm in more than just trouble. Tony, please. Decker said you'd help. 
Man, can't a guy run a record in peace? Okay, okay. We'll talk. Just talk. Where is that grain grid runner anyway? And why didn't he flag me himself? Okay, um... Seven tonight, okay, that sounds good. Swanson, you're, you're, are you afraid of, of, uh, so you're afraid of, like, hamsters and gerbils? How about rats? They're pretty big. I think they're cute. Where's that gray grid one? Okay, uh, I don't know, dead men don't make calls. Decker stayed behind. Anything could have happened. Dad? This can't be happening. Who the hell's after you? Look, I like breathing. Hear that? That's me. Happy, okay? Now, get out. Just help me contact Raycast, please. He'll he'll know what to do. Raycast? You you know Raycast? You're tickling with my gully balls. Who in Chili Chow Main are you? Tony! Open up! It's Decker! Let me in! Quack! Uh, did I skip something there? Huh. How did you make it out of Fixer's Hope? first rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for years as a hacker, back in the day. Sure. What else? Let me reload there. I must have accidentally skipped some dialogue. That quack didn't make any sense. Oh, shoot, I'm way back here. All right. Glorious, uh, G. Swanson says that uh, he got bit by a gerbil when he was younger. Doesn't like small animals. Oh, I missed that before. Yeah, I must have missed some dialogue somewhere. Ow. Grid runner, anyway. Dad, this can't be cast. You, Tony, open up. It's Decker. Let me in. You made it. Should be safe here for now. No one ducks radar as good as Tony. Quack. Okay, that was the line. That's weird. <laughs> All right. How the hell did you get out of Fixer's Hope? Rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for years as a hacker back in the day. I still can't get my head around how you got out to there to here. If you don't trust me, kid, come right out and say it. 
I was prepared, all right? I knew this day was coming. Just thought it would be my ass they were after. You used to be a hacker? Not anymore? You know what they say. If you ain't got ideals as a kid, you're missing a heart. But if you still got them as an old-timer, you're missing a brain. I took a step back is all. Leave the rodeos to the young blood. I opened Fixer's Hope. Made my help from the sideline. Uh, did something happen to make you retire? Jeez. Shouldn't we talking about how to save your ass right now? Uh, what's Fixer's Hope really about? You don't strike me as the bar owner type. Ha! <laughs> what? Because I still shower? Give me another year and I'll blend right in. Look. I built a network of compadres back in my hacker days, and one day I opened a joint for him. Nothing more to it. Then every hacktivist and cypherpunk in the city barreled in like it was a Sameo firewall. Flesh meats, trades, you name it. Quick became the kind of hangout the complex don't much appreciate. Uh, how come they didn't shut you down? My people ain't short on thinking, alright? I keep illegals to a minimum, and any speak going on is as hushed as a CIP case file. What are you going to do now that they've raided your joint? Yeah. Fixer's Hope ain't going to be reopening anytime soon. I need to lay low. Complex don't like it when Bust comes to fail. It's not just you they'll be after now. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Nah. It was dumb of me to think I could just step out of the game. I was always going to get the recall someday. If it hadn't been you, it would have been somebody else. Sure. What else you need to know, Blue? Or are we done gabbing? How do you know Tony? Is he someone we could trust? Don't worry about Tony. I've known him for years. We ran ops together. He was a regular at Fixer's Hope. He's only there from here. Guess it'll just be here now. How can we contact Raycast? What do you mean? You're the Raycast connect here. You had the cyberspace meet. Just jack back in there and... Show me your neck. What's this? This ain't a jack. Leave off. That's my neck plate. What do you mean a jack? Neck plate? You're wearing freaking ornaments? We're not on a catwalk here, sister. How the hell can you not have a jack? How did you plug into the network? All I know is I was in bed, and the next thing I know, my mind's being dragged off who knows where to talk to Raycast. What are you talking about? Without a jack, you ain't jacking in. Now, I don't know how you were in C-Space, but if you can't flag Raycast, we're gonna need a way to do it ourselves. But Raycast isn't exactly in the telephone book. He comes to you. I sure hope he's not done with you, kid. Tony, can you put a beacon out for Raycast without the complex tracing it? Is that doubt in your tone? You need to be changing up your tonality. Cause Tony's been slipping across the ice more than a penguin in... Slippers. Yes! I mean, yes, I can get Raycast a message. Oh! My... We got contact. It's Raycast. No doubt about it. It's his crypt sig. How's my hair? You're wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello again, Dex. It pleases me to see you alive. And hello to you, Decker. You proved me right in entrusting her to you. Glad to hear that. Because it looks like I just lost my livelihood. I wish there had been another way, Decker. But please trust me when I say, this is worth it. Now our timeline is short. We must make haste. Dex, I need to show you how to enter cyberspace. Uh, I was starting to feel like an entree at a dessert menu. Cherish your humor. It shall make your trials more bearable. Now, I will lead you into cyberspace this time. But you will need to learn to connect yourself. Now. Relax and remove your mind. Think only of elevation and detachment. Yes. Do you feel that wall? Focus on it. Open it. Decker, what's he talking about? She's got no jack. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you a stream running vertically before your eyes. It is your link to the virtual world. Step into it. You are in. Remember that feeling? Just like last time. Hey! That panel's been busted for ages! How did she...? Careful. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. 
Yeah, so when you're hacking, they have these little asteroids like shooting games. <laughs> We're just going to jack out. And we are returned. Do you understand now, Dex? Could you repeat that experience alone? You must have some opportunity to practice. Decker will assist you. I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you wonder where this power of yours came from. You have heard of Kether, have you not? Should I? What does this have to do with me? It has everything to do with you. Kether is the most advanced AI ever created. The only being that can be instantaneously aware of the entire activity of the world's cyber network. Every message, every transaction, every connection Kether sees, feels. Kether is omniscience, and you, Dex, are its seed. Wait, what? Whoa there, Raycast. Can't just go around saying stuff like that. Haven't you got a clear feed? Yeah, I know, Glorious. It is kind of talking to here. I think uh, G. Swanson and I were discussing earlier, it's kind of like Flashback, the quest for identity. That same kind of feel. Um, someone who's in a little deeper than they realize into a conspiracy. Uh, a lot of cyberpunk elements. <laughs> Will you stop calling me a kid? She needs to get somewhere safe, and you're going on like she's some kind of messiah. Feeding her with Avatar fairy tales isn't helping her. And it sure as hell isn't helping me help her. You need to trust me, Decker. My only concern is her life. And no one is better placed than I to know how to preserve it. Yeah, it's okay, please go on. Thanks. The complex want you dead. But for Kether's sake, you must stay alive. What about for her own sake? Look, Raycast, if they're after her, we're going to need some help on the ground here. Get prepared for what is ahead of you, Dex. Become able to defend yourself. Train. Practice in cyberspace. Decker will help you. We will speak again soon. We need more, Raycast! Raycast! Damn it! He's got us on a string here. He didn't even say hi to me. Ha! <laughs> you gotta like Tony, I think. You know, he's, he's sort of fun. Dex, we need to talk. Damn right we do. What is Look, Kether? Kether's real, but all that other stuff, that seed and avatar stuff, just forget it, all right? Ain't nothing but hacker myths and bourbon legends. She did connect to sea space without a Jack Decker. Not you as well. Will everybody keep their feet on the ground here? Just saying. Look, I'll tell you the facts. Kether's real. The complex created it. A distributed network program capable of unsupervised learning. They built it to monitor every node in the whole grid. And by tapping into the processors of each server it accessed, it had infinite computational resources. But during Charlie tests, the complex screwed up. They fed it too much processing power inside the development network. And Kether grew a self. Some said that. Others, that it just acted like it was self-aware. Whatever it was, it broke its leash, jumped the complex's development network, and spread into cyberspace. Okay, what happened then? Then, then we were this close to an anarchist's Eden, an AI seeing everything loyal to nothing. It wouldn't have been programmers dealing with Kether, it would have been politicians. How do you blackmail an AI if it don't have nobody doing the desiring, no family to be protecting? How do you bribe? We were this close to shaking up the entire system from the top down. Anything would have been possible. But the complex, they had an ace up their sleeve. A failsafe, just in case Kether got out of control. A parallel program called the GSV, Grid Security Virus. They unleashed GSV to contain it. GSV wasn't perfect, but it was enough. The two AIs, Kether and GSV, they went at it. Remember Black Monday, when the whole grid crashed? Them, slugging it out. Neutralization and recovery. Then, attrition. Finally, stalemate. Both pinned. Both contained. Kether is still there. Everywhere. But it can't operate. Not till someone breaks the GSV deadlock. And Raycast thinks this someone's me, right? Seems so. 
But look, this is just fairy tales now. Raycast says you're the avatar of Kether. Man, I feel like a chump just saying that word. The story goes like this. Kether had just seconds in sea space before GSV was set loose. But seconds were enough. It selected a human for backup, integrating part of itself, a seed, into an organic network, a brain, a human brain. I've got Kether in my head? Seems there are a bunch of people who think you do. And I've never seen anyone connect to sea space without a jack. T here thinks you do. But all I care about is keeping you alive, and that means out of the complex of sights. What's with all this getting prepared? What do I need to do? <sighs> Time for the Borgs and the Bees chat. Okay, listen kid. The moment you came into my joint with a complex on your tail, there was only one way you were going to stay breathing. On the street, in cyberspace, wherever. You're going to need a level of hell up, or you're going down. Can I just add that as much as you're welcome here, you can't, um, stay here all that long. <sighs> what? I'm sorry, but it's my ass. Dex, you're gonna need to get augmented. It's the only way the rest of you is gonna stay alive. Augment? You mean implants and nanotech? Surely there must be some other way. It's that or plain worm food, kid. Wherever you run, they'll find you. There's nowhere their network don't reach. Now, surviving means knowing when to run, and when to make a stand. You can bet Ray Kastik in the same. This is the only way, kid. Time to stand. Go to Dr. Niles. You can find his clinic near the Chinese gate, not far from here. Tell him you need a neuro weave. With that installed, you can take on any implant you need. Who is this Niles, and how do I know he won't sell me out? Niles is no saint. <laughs> I'd stay awake for the ops. But he is on the wrong side of the system, and that's the right side. Raycast says you'll teach me to use cyberspace, so? Blue, I'll be honest. I have no clue how you connected. We all need a jack. What you did back there with Raycast, that was nothing I've ever seen before. But if you can get in, I can show you around. Let's do it. Right. Start with some basic actions. Hmm. We'll need a training ground. Needs to be safe, but complex enough for rope learning. I know. Just hack Tony's farm. Excuse me? I'm not having some green sleeve wandering around the tea farm. Um, no offense. Your network is secure, T. She'll learn to run safely, hack a couple of nodes. You can choose them. Come on, man. It's the ideal setup. I'll keep her on track. Fine, fine. But I'll be jacked in too. Don't get messy in there, alright? And stay out of the huge but natural subdirectory if. You don't mind. <laughs> See those viruses? Don't let them get to you. Destroy the firewalls and proceed. They're tough, so you might want to use a stronger attack. I mean, this is, yeah, pretty much uh, asteroids without any kind of real blowback or, or inertia. Subscription confirmation from LNN staff to Tony. Dear Mr. Tony the subscriber, thank you for purchasing a five-year subscription to the online version of Huge and Natural. Access begins immediately. Please click here to activate your account. As premium subscriber, you are able to download all 2D video files direct to your device for ease of access. 3D remains streaming only. Thank you for supporting our publication and our models. Enjoy it. Your sincerely, Tori Lang, CEO, Pretty Peep Publications. You were not supposed to read that. Yes, I can aim independently of moving. So it is very twin sticky. Watch out. 
Presumably this guy, that's why this guy has all those viruses, huh? That's what you get. There we go. Stealing more money from Tony. Let's see here, I don't think I can blow these up. I miss back here, I wonder. Uh, let's take a look. XP, okay, that's nice. You say, T. Welcome to the club, kid. Me, lucky dice at the end there, but not too shabby for a crawler. You'll walk soon enough. I'm not done until I'm sprinting. How can I improve even more? Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. Some implants boost your reflexes, give you more connection time, stuff like that. You really got to be thinking about upgrades, Blue. How's it going, Blue? Sure. What do you want to know? Where can I buy weapons? I'm starting to think I could use some. There are a couple of good packing shops. Hank's ain't far from here, near the Chinese gate. The place doesn't look much, but nobody knows more than him about firepower. Then you've got everyday guns for more fancy pieces. Downtown, near my friend Sam's store. What's the best place for supplies around here? <sighs> I know a few. But if you go downtown, there's a general store an old friend of mine runs, Sam. Food, drink, meds, first aid kits, you dream it, Sam's got it. Well, that's it for now. All right. Let's see here. I gotta level up somewhere in there, right? Uh, how many points do I have? Just one. Okay. Um. Well, let's hold on to it for now and try to upgrade the lock picking, I guess. How's it going, Blue? Yeah, okay. Person's poster. The world is falling <laughs> into hell. Interesting notion. Care to elaborate? You know how I will stop the fool? Yeah, no. Nope. With my secret, my magnus opus. Technology is going to take on a new meaning. Change forever. Unfurl. Fight the power. You, you might understand. Greatness does take on surprising forms, like crazy bumps. Appearances are shadows, illusions. 
I used to wear a tie, okay? And you get a drink. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. For That's right. Information technology officer. That's what I was. Yesterday. Got a diet, Dr. Pepper. All right. And? Then things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. An old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. You got to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. And now... Now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. In the mind. Talking. Telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. What exactly do you need? <laughs> Antidepressants to shut up the talking ones. Anxiolytics. <laughs> Venium, whatever. Anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> First, I'd like to hear a little more about your grand plan. Too dangerous. No. Get me the pills, and then I'll tell you. Why don't you get the meds yourself? This is my circle. I can't step out. I have to check it every morning to make sure it isn't broken. Voices shout from outside. I, I can't hear them. You understand? You understand? Okay, I'll see if I can find some pills for you. Clever girl. <laughs> Making the right allies. <laughs> Investing. Clever. I'll wait here. In my circle. Who's the man on this poster? It says you promised a reward. Oh, yes, of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? I'm sorry, do you have any idea where he could be? I wish I knew. He vanished two weeks ago. He said nothing before he left. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's... More of a woman. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... How did he change? Style, clothes, hair. Always in front of mirror. Acting like tough guy in front of customer. Any idea where I can find this, Lily? I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner. Always sitting on a secret... Like, her life was being lived by another. I didn't trust her. Not at all. Ah! But Lily has a friend. Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. I don't know what, but... 
If you can't find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen. Or at least Lily. I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. I light a candle for Shen every night. It's you? Do you... Please. Our menu. Our tofu dishes are the highest rated in all of Taijo. The only drink on the menu is Energo Cola. Hardly traditional. Well, it is the number one drink in China. With noodle. Of course. Niles' clinic. Well, well, so you're dicks. Let me have a look at you. Mm, I, I got a hurried message from Decker saying a girl with blue hair was coming in. I'd say there are other descriptors he might have used. If this is you trying to make me feel comfortable, please stop. thinking you have certain reservations? Trust me, there are no better hands in all of Harbor Prime than these. Look, 95 years of age and steady as a rock. Decker told me I need a neural weave. What sort of operation are we talking about here? Neural weave? Well, why didn't he say? <sighs> we got something of a problem, but... Come to that if you choose to have one. First, what it is. A neural weave is a neural platform for multiple high-end augmentations. You will become adaptable, scalable, and upgradable. I, I won't lie, it means you're heading for some drastic changes. Uh, what do you mean by that? Don't worry. The neural weave itself won't affect your appearance. It'll simply affect how your body functions. But if Decker wants you to install a neural weave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equips your brain to handle stimuli overload from multiple concurrent implants. Multiple. The neural weave is not a drastic change, but the implants that follow will be. I, I can only guess you'll be coming up against other augmented ones fighting fire with fire. It's the only reason Decker would want you augmented to this level. Do you trust a 95-year-old guy to do <laughs> implant cyberware on you? What do you think? <laughs> All right, let's say I agreed. How much would it cost me? I can perform the operation for free. I hope they care that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is, neural weaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military-grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. Can't you order one? Don't you have suppliers? And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, it's way too risky to install a faulty one. Consequences would be unimaginable. You said the implants are being sabotaged. Do you know who's doing it? I wish I did. Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck, a, a, a production line blunder, but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware. What's happening is deliberate. <laughs> they say 95 is the new 36. <laughs> okay. And the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Hope. From what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Anyway, the deal is, if you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to Holm. He's bound to know things I don't. Yeah. 
bit, but go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg. Hello again, Dex. What can I do for you? Hello again, unnatural. Are vehicles natural, or should we still ride horses? Is electricity natural, or should we stick with campfires? And clothes. Should we be running around shivering and showing off our bits? But you're fine with a neck, but to look the part. Is that really so different to something integrated, functional, and permanent? I mean, how will an augmentation make you any less human if humanity is about progress and progress is about technology? Technology found in civilization, not the other way around. This here is the next step in the evolution of our species. The natural next step. Or are you worried about being less you? But you don't need a philosopher to tell you that you're more than a physical body. Soul, consciousness, destiny, call it what you will. But why would that essence be any worse off if you made your body better? You give it power. Jump higher, run faster, deduce quicker, and kick ass harder. I wonder if there's anything I can steal here. <laughs> no. Let's see here. I'm still trying to figure my way around here. What happens if I go downtown? Door. Hi there. Feel free to browse. What you see is what I've got. You're Sam, right? Decker recommended this place. Did he now? Well, it's a friend who comes down another friend's path, as Grandpops used to say. Welcome. Welcome. Everything okay? You seem, I don't know, troubled. Well, look at you. A mind for good eyes if I ever did see. I do have something nagging at me, you're right. My accountant was supposed to deliver my sales report a week ago, and I'm in some straits wanting it, I can tell you. What's his excuse? Maybe a good one if I heard it, but gentleman Mr. Finch has taken it upon himself to go all unreachable on me. Not the first time, granted, but I'm fast near the point of making it his last, I can tell you. He's got a full-time job, granted, but it's the pills I blame, I swear. Ever since his divorce, that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on a pogo stick. Actually, I'd be happy to throw you a few hundred credits if you dropped by his apartment and gave that fool a kick. Just a friendly one, of course. Uh, let's see her. Should I try to extort her for a little extra up front? Looks like I can, I can try and use my charisma. Yeah, might as well. Not just a mind for good eyes, I see. But why exactly would I do that? <laughs> Sounds like you could be in trouble. Might be an incentive to get him out could of it. Could be, could be. Fair enough. Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know it, right? Apartment 112. No one home last time I checked, but you look like the lucky sort. If he's out, ask around his neighborhood. He's known around those parts. I'm looking for meds. Antidepressants. Really? Oh, well. It's the prettiest flowers that get pissed on when a dog comes by. Take a look. You'll find some somewhere. Let me see what you got. Here. 
Okay. That's it. Let's see here. <laughs> Kebab! Thanks, but I'm here for fast food, not a flattering florist. Ooh, and the prickles come out. Fast food, you say? Not here. Here, I humbly strive for the standards of my father Issa's traditional preparation. Please, let me show off just a little taste of my kofte kebab. Bedava, for free. Don't be shy now. Okay, but I bite. Interesting decor for a kebab shop. Ah, yes, miss. A green thumb I have. A passion for the nature. My little island of color in a graying world. Everything is genetically engineered these days. So sad. It is like we put Mother Nature in the back room and told her she can't cook for the guests. I never imagined so much love could go into a kebab. I wouldn't be against stealing some for you if it's for a good cause. Oh, I could never ask you to take such a risk. These people, these people, you prick them with thorns. They shoot you with lead. But of course, if you ever happen to stumble upon a member to a human seeds, I'd happily take them off your hands. Happily and generously. Any idea where I should start looking? Not in their offices. Only staff and paper there. So much paper. And our forests fast becoming a memory. Yes, human seeds. Try looking around the docks, uh, in the warehouses. All deliveries go through there. But you better hope for the luck, my friend. I'll try my best. Ah, welcome back. So he just sells beer. These are the expensive guns, right? That's what he said. Everyday guns. A good day, and welcome, miss. I'd like to invite you to peruse some of the finest lethal and non-lethal equipment in Harbor Prime. Everything you see here is available exclusively here, not elsewhere, at all. Show me what you're stocking. Hmm. EMP gun, a magnum, and basically a Glock. Okay. Thank you. 
Break into this person's house. Re Adonis Island opportunities from Charlene to Frank. Frank, stop trying to talk me into working for you. There's no way I'm going there. Working non stop, drugs practically on drip, and there's nothing to do on your damn island. I've heard the stories too, Frank. Not everyone makes it back, so I'll keep my freedom. Thank you very much. P.S. If you can get me some Exalta, though, I can come pick it up at the Aphrodite this weekend. Exalta pickup from Charlene to Lily. Hey Lily, I was talking to Frank and he'll have a new batch of Exalta ready pretty soon. I ordered a few pills and asked him to send it to the Aphrodite for me to pick up there. I know what you're going to say, but if it have to it's sent to my place, there's always a risk Mr. John Mrs. Johnson will see it. <clears throat> and you know that old hack. She'd have the cops on my doorstep in a heartbeat. She's been trying to have me evicted for months already. Not my fault for building that his, uh, our building has thin walls. Anyway, you'll be there, right? So I guess I'll see you then. Let's see here. Charlie to Frank, from Charlie to Lily. Lily's the, the girl that they uh, were looking for in the Chinese restaurant, I think. Enough, from Charlene to Speedy. Damn it, Speedy. Will you stop sending me flowers? Look, you're sweet, but you're 14 for Christ's sake. Get a crush on someone your own age, will you? And stop calling me Carla. That's what my mom used to call me. How do you even know that? So just the data pad, that was it. Condom dispenser. If I wander too far, okay. Gotcha. Suffered brain damage, okay. Okay, what good did hacking those do? something wrong.
It doesn't do anything. <laughs> sure, kid, been chasing the wrong girl. What? No. Nothing like that. It's, it's my mother. Messing with the wrong man? She's dying. Oh, sorry, tough break. Anything I could do? Okay, take me to your mom. It's cancer. Of the spleen, they say. Do you hear me? A lady. From the outside. I thought... I thought maybe she could help. Just maybe. Is she a doctor? Are you a doctor? I'm real sorry. But we can't pay a doctor. She's not a doctor. Okay. How much do you need for the spleen transplant? Um, around 700. We have some savings, so 500 would be enough. I don't like the idea of stealing them from Dr. Niles. We understand. It, it is a lot of money. As soon as I get better, I, I'd find a way to repay you. Uh, just give the 500, I guess. Two lock picking to break in for the hmm. I think the second floor one, is that the one that uh, the lady at the grocery store wanted me to get? Who wants to see what happens if I jump off the roof? Game over. <laughs> wow, okay. Hey, thanks 
so Alright. Yeah, fall damage is always annoying. R.I.P. Jan Jerkowski. 11-11-1988 to 10-27-2015. Must have been somebody on the development team. Ma'am, madam, milady, what'll be your taste? Guns, C-band, intel, uppers, downers, flip your head around us. Me, I'm your man. Aren't you a bit young to be dealing with that kind of stuff? With all due respect, ma'am, from my experience, there ain't no young on the street. They survive and there's or don't. Now, how might I be of service to you? Fine, show me what you got. I feel like it would be kind of crude to sell that uh, medallion. <laughs> Me lady, what will be your taste? You know a girl named Charlene? Where's she at? Charlene, sure. Girl's a friend of mine. Her apartment's downtown next to that fancy gun shop. Or if she's cruising, try the Chinese gate. She hangs out there. I'm good for now. Thanks. Shame. Crying shame. She was one of the good ones. Somebody one of the died? What? No. The restaurant was one of the good ones. They're shutting her down. Farewell, Tagliatelli al Salmone. Gonna miss you. Name's AJ, by the way. Just paying your respects? That. And some. I'm a curious cat, me. Something tells me that makes two of us, am I right? But... This isn't the best place to talk. If you want to talk wise, come. We can go to the Nightingale over there. It's a dump, but it's got more privacy than a black hole. Okay? Okay, let's talk. Don't worry, I'm not trying to hit on you. This dump is the last place I'd take a girl on a date. I'm not worried. Good. Anyway, that restaurant back there? Eden? Quarantined. Restaurant was quarantined? Someone died of food poisoning or something? No idea. They've got a tighter lid on this than an elephant on a manhole. I did some probing. This is my neighborhood, see. And found out that Eden got shut down after an impromptu health inspection. And you think there's some hidden agenda? Okay, listen. Biofarm Tech did the inspection, got their own agents. But guess who was the food supplier for Eden? Biofarm Tech. Now... Why would they shut down one of their own customers? Why not just fix a health problem if they find one? Bad blood? Cover up? Who knows? Somebody does. Who's Biofarm Tech? So that's it. You're here from another time, another dimension. Don't they have corporations where you're from? <laughs> Biofarm Tech is only the biggest organic food company in the world. The last truly ethical one, they'll say. And they've got fair trade, animal welfare, and charity programs to prove it. So where's the catch? Girl after my own heart. The whole thing's a catch. Most people lap up their PR like kittens around cream. We're so desperate to see a corporation that won't screw its own mother for better margins that the whole town's painting rainbows over Biofarm. But you can bet there's nothing but pots of gold underneath it all. You never told me why you're interested in this story. <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Everyone all over knows my game. I'm a reporter. Old school overthrow, that's me. Started my own news agency. 
still uh, a one-girl show right now. Well, two, if I include you. I do my own running after scoops, dig in the dirt, you know. Finger on the street pulse, old school, baby. Not like those hackers in their mama's basements fighting for a freedom they'll never go outside to see. Your work sounds almost romantic. You and I gotta hang out someday, girl. <laughs> well, I wasn't always like this. Used to work for the system. Fat News Corp, fat salary. But any story trickier than a cat up a tree and they buried it. No, I'm meant to be my own boss in this line of work. And sure there are risks, but it's all about staying a nuisance, not a threat. That and knowing who you can walk over, who you can't. It's true I'm on everyone's radar, but known faces are hard to cap, remember? What's the plan? How are you going to find out what happened to Eden? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm kind of stuck right now. I tried speaking to the owner of Eden, but it's obvious he got paid to keep his mouth shut. And my informants are just as in the dark as I am. And to make matters worse, the suits at Biofarm know me. Not the first time I've lifted their skirts. If I showed up at their office, they'd sooner toss me out of the window than talk to me. But you, you could help. You said you've got a network of informants, so why me? Well, informants sounds fancy, but it really means meatheads, pros, and narc runners. Ones I know won't get as far as the biofarm lobby without security turning them right back out. You're at least presentable. And you have wits enough to wangle some intel, I'm sure. I'll help. What do you want me to do? Awesome. Right. Their main office is in High Rise, so start there. Ask a few questions. Be subtle, though. Don't barge in throwing around accusations. Doubt you'll turn up anything, but give it your best shot. And whatever you learn, come back and report. Oh, darling, don't be shy. Well, a little autograph ain't no thing. What's your name, honey? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Of course you don't. Different times, different worlds. Nowadays, young'uns listening to nothing but neuro beats and sound walls. Barbara, don't ring any sort of bell in there at all. <laughs> well, you can bet your mom's twerking tush she was a fan. <laughs> Dang it, maybe it's better if I'm out of the sweet spot of that limelight for a while. Being a star can be a cross to bear, ain't no mistaking. <laughs> I can imagine all the money is especially burdened, so perhaps I can help? Ha <laughs> ha! Listen to you with the quick liquor. Well, you can see plain as day, I got me rid of that problem a long time ago. The troubles don't stop coming, just with different faces. Oh, nothing I should be bothering a youngin' like you with. Just some Looney Tune fan taken to sending me threats and other nonsense. I'd give it no time of day, but she, uh, I'm guessing it's a she, has the audaciousness to be sliding the letters under my door. How about that? Sure don't make a home feel much like a home. What do the letters say? Just ramblings, accusing me of stuff I never did. Threatening to get me or replace me, would you believe? I might be able to help if you like. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? So, I've been doing some real hard thinking. And you know what? I reckon this pen pal of mine lives in my neighborhood. I mean, how else could she drop letters off at my place every day? Now, something tells me you ain't stupid either. Maybe you could snoop around, dig out who's behind this. My building is number 39 in High Rise. And here's the letter she wrote me just yesterday. Maybe you'll figure something I missed. Milady, what'll be... I seem to recall there's some shady stuff going on here, <laughs> to say the least. Welcome, gorgeous. There's Lily. May I call you Claire? 
clair de lune. I'm Lily, your maître d'. <coughs> Now, what will be your wonder? Drink, pill, or do you like to go in cold? Uh, what kind of club is this exactly? Oh, darling. Take a look around. Is it really so mystifying? The Aphrodite is where pleasure turns and needs uncurl. You may order a drink, relax, and enjoy the show. When your uh, inner calls, come to me for a private room with one of our Celestials. You're the only true. I'm curious what brought you into this line of work. Your interest flatters me, Mademoiselle de Lune. My, my story is simple. This is my world, as it has always been. Only now, it is also my empire. Uh, let's see here. Might get hostile if we ask her about Shen. Let's find out. Welcome back, Mademoiselle de Lune. So, flesh and bloods are your taste. A connoisseur's choice. But we have many connoisseurs. Shen is occupied right now. If you have money and patience, you may pick him next. What is Shen doing I here? Can give you three guesses. Shen works for me. And for a price, I can put him to work on you. What's flesh and blood? Oh, a flesh and blood is a virgin of alteration. A pure man. All man. No augmentations. They're most rare in the pleasure business, and most prized. I'm here to take him home to his sister. So, Chen Tao sent you. How adorable. But my favorite acquisition is staying, and that is his choice. Love binds, darling. Now why don't you forget this nonsense and enjoy some Aphrodite Selexir yourself? Okay, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> Set off the alarms. Wow. That, uh, that killed me super fast. Oh! And there's a machine gun on the ceiling. That's, uh, that was something else. Welcome back, Mademoiselle de Lune. What would be your pleasure? So, flesh and bloods are your... I can give you three. Oh, so... Now why don't you forget this nonsense and enjoy some Aphrodite? Same thing happens if I hack the elevator? Apparently so. I wasn't told of no coming throughs. Who are you? Look, I just want to talk to you. Well, if my heavenlies are not in need just now, sure. I'm looking for what Shen. Where can I find him? Shen, Shen, Shen are... Are you afraid of pleasure? Because these flesh and blood's got nothing but monkey humping. Okay, we've evolved, sister. I can take the competition, but not when it's ignorance and fear doing the judge. 
You want some fumbling boy? He's on the next floor up on the right. A man. Well, you know where I am. What can you tell me about this place? Mm, La Frodite. Huh? Takes down competition quicker than pantyhose. Scooped up the pros, then cut the amateurs with a. Lily ain't no ordinary lady, sugar. How did you end up working here? And up. Uh, I chose this profession, darling. You really think them tie wearers have more fun behind their desks than I have beneath my silky smooths? Do you? When you're born as fine as I, it doesn't take long to work out where your money's coming from. It was just natural I'd invest in being ultra. tells me I'm not supposed to be doing this this way. Oh, I need a special item to break the firewall, don't I? Okay. Oh, nope, I can just blow it up. Alright, that works for me. Update, new recruit, from Lily to Frank. Hello, my dear Frank. A quick update on our new Wonder Boy, Shen. He's steadily getting accustomed to X Alta. He's getting more docile by the day. I'm making sure he's learning all the skills he needs. He'll soon be ready for shipping. I estimate in a couple more weeks his head will be past the point of no return. He's one of the easiest targets I've ever worked in. He was in love the moment I winked, let alone when I laid him down with me. I've also got only one dose of Exalted Withdrawal pills left. Could you send me more? It would be a shame if our darling overdosed and I had nothing to cancel the effects. I used to get some from Speedy, but even he can't get his hands on them these days. He even offered to buy mine. That kid, I swear. Air vent isolation, Aphrodite Club, Aphrodite Club, from Lily to plumbing and heating. Will you finally send someone to isolate the air vent above my office? I don't know which law of physics is at work here, but I can hear everything that's happening in the other room. Not that I mind that kind of sound, but when I have to work to do it, seriously affects my ability to focus. I'm 
Charlene to Lily. Hey, Lily, long time no see. I know you said not to call you, but this is strictly about business. Okay, I've got something that could really interest you. I've been hanging out in Taijo for quite a bit lately. Decent pickups these days, and I came across a very cute guy. Exactly your type. Honey, playboy, looks athletic, soft skin, and loves girls. Unless he's holding, hiding a hair straightener, he's definitely flesh and blood. Next time you're around, I'll introduce you. I'm sure it'll be an easy acquisition. Just don't forget my little commission if things work out between you two. Miss you. Thanks for the tip, but you know how valuable my time is. Why don't you first make sure that he isn't hiding <laughs> an og inside his pants or anywhere else for that matter. And I'll make the trip. And please evaluate his performance. If all checks out, I'll drop by over the weekend. And Charlene, if it's just an excuse to see me again, that's sweet. But please don't waste my time. Yeah, I got killed by this machine. Okay. All right. Do not break into the ladies' club. At least not until I have a few more levels to go with. Oh. All right. That's an interesting unicycle. Me lady. Find Charlene. I think they said this was her apartment, but anyway. We're at two hours. Um, let me know if everyone liked this and if I should pick it up again next week. We didn't really seem to manage to complete any quests, but uh, found out some stuff. And <laughs> uh, maybe I should put 18 plus only on the label for the stream. I don't know. All right. Um, talk to everybody later. Um, have a good Monday night. Um, let me know in Discord or uh, leave comments uh, if you want to see this game again. All right. Bye.